they will get a better quality fruit that fits matches what they want. A scientist at the Summerland Research and Development Center has spent four years developing instruments to predict the texture of apples in a way that will tickle human taste buds. So we had panelists coming here and uh, tasting our samples from different apple varieties and then we tested the same samples uh, with different instruments as you can see here and then we developed models matching the human side and the instrument side with each other and were able to predict the majority majority of the variation in the texture attributes. So in this project we were focused on predicting the texture of fruits with instruments in a way that matches the human perception of fruit quality. The method of continually using panelists to assess the fruit's characteristics can be both time-consuming and expensive. Because uh, this can help us to be more efficient and not just us, any program and also the industry side to be more efficient in evaluating the quality of the product at different stages um, of the storage, production storage and transportation. A benefit to the orchardists is that they can look at the results from the variety studied and determine what that could mean to their desired consumer. They can benefit from using it by understanding what will be the perception of consumers using the fruit at this specific stage. Is it too soft for them? Is it too hard for them? Or is it good? Should it be moved on to the fresh market or can we store it for longer or shorter? So those decision making um, stages, we need information. This could also lead to helping with the creation of future apple varieties, providing orchardists with the key to filling a gap in the market. For Gasnet News in Summerland, I'm Casey Richardson.